Hello everyone. We have seen, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, a recent increase in NOIDs. Uh, these are the notice of intent to deny letters. We help our clients to respond to these and thought it might be helpful for others to discuss what they are, how can and you should respond, and what happens if you don't respond. We also talk a little bit about your next, what your next step um, is. If after you respond, you don't get your desired result. I'm Maluka Hania. I have an office in Lawrenceville, Georgia, but provide immigration services for clients around the world. I also offer estate planning and family law services for Georgia residents. Nina Clear, my marketing and office manager, is here with me. And we thank you for all your shares, likes, and comments as they help others to see our videos. And we really appreciate your support. You mentioned what an NOID is, but can you tell us that again? Sure. An NOID is a notice of intent to deny. And who would send you one? USCIS sends them. So many times when people get one, they call our office totally freaked out, they're panicking. What is your first piece of advice if someone gets one? Well, first, don't panic. Actually, you should see it as a positive thing that you didn't receive an outright denial. So you received an NOID. And uh, so you said that you should see it as a positive thing that you received it or didn't get a de denial. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, we also did a video about this previously, but with the new USCIS policy uh, since July, I think, 2018, they don't need to, see, to send an NOID or a request for evidence. They can just deny your entire application. So getting an NOID is a good thing. Well, it's not a bad thing because it means that they haven't denied you yet. So you have a chance to prove that you do have a bona fide marriage, for example. And is that what an NOID does? It's asking you to prove like you have a bona fide marriage or whatever else they're sending it for? Uh, sort of. An NOID, a notice of intent to deny, can be sent for any application you submit. Uh, to gain an immigration benefit. So we have seen them for waivers, or green cards, or other application. But unlike an RFE, which is a request for evidence that asks you to submit additional information, an NOID is saying that they are fully intending to deny your application and these are the reasons why. But you can answer it with facts showing that you do meet the requirements, right? Yes, you can. Do you think that you should? If you do, absolutely you should do it as soon as possible. And why is that? You only have a limited time to respond. Sometimes the notice of intention to deny can make a long list of the deficiencies of your applications. And if you don't answer each one, you may be denied. This may be your last chance to convince the USCIS official that you are eligible for the immigration benefit. So would you treat an RFE, so the request for evidence and an NOID the same? No, since the NOID basically says, we don't believe that you qualify for this benefit. It is much, <clears throat> I'm sorry, it is much more urgent than an RFE. And why do you say that? Well, an RFE, request for evidence. I think the allergies are getting to Yeah, me. the dust, my car was <laughs> yellow today. The <laughs> dust is crazy, the pollen. Yes, the RFE says, we think you qualify for this benefit, but need more proof. So convince us you do qualify. The NOID, the Notice of Intent to Deny, says we don't think you meet the legal requirements to get this benefit. So, um, that's why they ask you to explain why you shouldn't be denied. And who responds to the NOID? If you are a green card or U.S. citizen spouse who applied for your immigrating spouse, 
you would be the one who responds. But I would always recommend that an immigration attorney be involved in responding to a notice of intention to deny. And why is that? Being denied can have greater implications. Plus, since USCIS is saying we don't think you meet the legal requirements for this immigration benefit, an attorney can submit a legal argument along with all the other required evidence explaining why you do. And you said that you have a limited time to respond. Do you know what that is? Usually it's 30 days, but the, the letter, uh, the NOID letter will tell you. We always send our responses overnight with tracking number to ensure the USCIS receives it in a timely manner. And, and we would always encourage people to, if you're gonna hire an attorney, do it sooner rather than later because when we have people call us and they're like i have to respond by tomorrow good luck with that <laughs> yes it's, there is not enough time to prepare a response and so what if you don't respond to an noid or your response is sent late if you do that uh, then you most likely be denied and how long does it take for you to get a response back from uscis once you have sent in your Please don't deny me this is why I deserve or should get this benefit. Generally, USCIS has to respond within 90 days, but it's very hard to say right now how long it's going to tell the, the takedown because we see an increase in the time, in the response time uh, for all the applications. So it can take several months. And this is when they don't send you a receipt saying we got it. Right. So that's why another reason we send it overnight with tracking, because then at least we have a paper saying yes, they got it. Delivery, yes. And then finally, what about if you're denied? So you sent everything in, you did what you could, and they're like, mm, nope, we still think you don't need got you don't have what you need to get this. What do you do? In in that case, you have several options. Some denials may be appealed to the USCIS Administrative Appeals Office, or AAO, or the Board of Immigration Appeals, BIA, and an office, which one, which this one, the last one, is an office within the Department of Justice. The denial notice will provide information about whether the decision may be appealed and where to file the appeal. Alternatively, you may file a motion to reopen or a motion to reconsider, even if you don't have any appeal rights. You can also submit your application again, in some cases, because now you know exactly what you did not have before uh, that caused your application to be denied. But you will, of course, need to pay the fees um, to file it again. If you are denied, I suggest you discuss your options with an immigration attorney. Thank you so much for watching today and for all your likes and comments and shares. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We are always here to help. See you tomorrow.